Hello guys, Jerry the Primer here, back with another video um, in this Python RPG series. In this video, we're going to be continuing from the last video on our AI. We are having some trouble now <laughs> since we've changed this into the 2D array. We're having uh, some issues. So, what the hell is going on over here? So, we're trying just kind of debugging this issue. Play. Class, yeah. So, what's wrong? What's wrong? Do I have to? Is it because I need to state zero? Dot. Yeah. I bet you it's because if I now state zero dot name. Play. This might cause a lot of issues down the line <laughs> with other stuff. Uh, so yeah. So if I now get rid of that, that may appear much more pretty. Play. Do. Yeah. Link. And yeah, we have to fix that issue as well over here. So. I I done goofed up was in was in um just realized yeah this is just wrong this this is just wrong just just ignore this just 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 ignore it uh it's, that's absolutely wrong because first of all I don't actually I don't think I don't actually need that actually to be honest um <laughs> I don't actually need that uh because what I can do is I can just say over here yeah print me capture class zero dot name and I can then just say yeah print me then Catch class one. Don't know why I was in another for loop, but I could just do that. And that'll work. If I run that, you'll see that working. Play, go, yeah, yeah. monk, for example. Or should work. Uh, but I think if it is, is this something else it's complaining about? If player class dot upper. <sighs> if. Class name zero. I say zero. Yes. 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 I feel lost correct. Yes. <laughs> That's another place. If player class to offer. If player class to offer. Uh, what do you mean you can't find it? Character creation. That's not the same as this one, though. Ah, oh, it says pop. Player class. Four character class. In character class, if player class is equal, if I'm, yeah, it's this part that's complaining about. Sorry, <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, just a different place to ask about notifications. So, um, there's some other place character class dot starting HP, character class dot starting. Not this place or that. Oh, this is in the player. Ooh, this is in the player now. <laughs> and, uh, what? What are you complaining about? Uh huh. Um, okay. When I return player, character class. Put me out. What do you think the character class is? That's what Python thinks the character class is. Play. Yeah, it's that, but of course, what you want is you want to return. Your return is just the character class object. You don't want the uh, AI amount to be included as one map. Monk. There we go, Assassin 1, Knight 2, Mage 1, Monk 5, Warrior 10. Yeah, that's all. Okay, is this going to crash? Because this one references a class building, so it refers to the character class. 
good. It didn't crash. Good news. Um, hopefully, I don't need to do anything else. Hopefully, that's all the all the changes I have to made. I, I have to make. So yeah. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, is loop and essentially to generate this. Um, well, firstly, actually, before we do that, I'm gonna see names. I'm just gonna say over here. Under names, I'm gonna put over here random. Like I'm just gonna call character names. Call it, I call I could call it random, but I'm just gonna call it character names. Um. Okay, so I'll just go over here. List of names. Just get from any website, whatever. Boom. There's a list of names. Those are male names and female. I could specify the gender, but that's just more and more work. <laughs> I don't think gender's important, right? No, no need, no need to to to, to state the gender because it's, it's not that important, right? Now, some of these may have an accent, and I hopefully Python. I don't. Is Python's encoding? I don't know if Python. If it's default encoding, it's Unicode. I'll, I'll have to go check that out and make sure that's using Unicode as, as its default. So in our generate, what we're going to do is we're simply just going to come for here. We're going to say, uh, we're just going to say over here, uh, we want you to then, um, actually, before we actually generate, what I want is, I want to, is get, um, then, Character names. Character names equals get character names. Just gonna call a function which goes and gets character names. So if I come over here and find something over here like get class file, of course we want it's more of a read. Uh, we want to is Get one of these. Yeah. And this path method follows the data data slash name slash character names of txt. File. Then I can just over here just say return me return file dot read dot split lines. Boom. Done. Print me then over your character names. What's wrong? You want it the other way? Is that why? Does it want it the other way? Okay. Okay. Is that it? Oh, oh, that looks, oh, did I just spot an issue with one of the accents? Yeah, look at that. Uh, 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 that's obviously an issue with encoding. Look at that. Because I don't think anyone has a quarter, the fraction a quarter, as part of their name. <laughs> so we're going to have to convert this into Unicode. Or we have to read the file via the Unicode encoding. The Unicode encoding, yeah. So this file uses the UTF-8 over here encoding. Uh, so we're going to want to say over here comma, and what we should be able to say over here should be able to say encoding is equal to. We should be able to put over here is UTF-8. Just play Diego like. I just boom. So all. There's an accent with no issues. I think there was an accent over here on top, which had some issues. Here's an accent, no issues. So we've got two so far. I don't know if you can see any more, but I'm quite blind, so I'm trying to see if I can find anything else. There's evidence that this is now working. Um, trying to find any more accents. Any more accents? There, there's another one. Um, Okay, I, I, I think I can convince you that, that it's now working. <laughs> I think I've convinced you. Okay, so 
Done. Cool. So that's not working. Of course, we want, what we want to do is we just want to randomly pick one. We could shuffle this one to then pick one. Whatever. We could do. We could just say, yeah, whatever. This dot shuffle. Um. Did I do it correctly? Oh, I, oh my god, I always do this. It's random dot shuffle, and then you have to pass in. I always do this. <laughs> right, so the first one is... So we shouldn't see that as the first one. No, we're trying to pronounce that. Play. Right. Waves. Next. Did I print? Did I remove the print? Oh, I read the print. Silly guy. I'm such a silly person. Right, let me just get the first one. It's fine, we'll just get the first one. So, as you can see, it's no longer the same one. And if I try, try and put my here, search. Yeah. That's actually the 60... Uh, the 60 tooth. This the... the the, the name in line 62 uh, has become the top one now. So that shows that the shuffle works. Okay, cool. The shuffle works. And what we're now going to want to do is also, actually, we may wish to pass this. What we want to do is we also want to set over here its HP values and such. Yes. Where, where's that currently set? Uh, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the code again. Correct class. We can do correct class. That appends. Okay. So when you've. That generates me the classes. Yes. However, when you're then creating the player or the character creation, um, you got a player class. Okay. Character class. Oh, the same character class that's on the screen. Okay. Yep. Got it. So what we may have to we may wish to create is uh, our own class. We may wish to do is create an AI class. Um, we could just utilize the player class itself. We could just say, yeah, let's just utilize this class. We could just say that. <laughs> let's just utilize the player class, you know, and we'll just give it a name, you know. And all that stuff actually. That 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 is a, a one way we could just do it. We just do it like that. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking which way will be the best way. Uh, you probably you probably don't want to use the player class. To be honest, uh, you probably want to create your own class, your own AI class. Um, Just thinking, is that <sighs> currently there is no difference between the AI or the player? There is no difference in its classes, it's the same class. <laughs> so I'm just thinking, um. We don't have a
have a probably should create one. I'm just gonna copy this. this AI character. I could import from the player. Maybe maybe we should start with the character class. I'm just thinking maybe that's what we should have started with. Just have the character class, uh, potentially. Um, You know what? Fuck it. We'll just use the player. We'll just use the player class. Uh, we, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> if any issues come around with that, we'll just deal with that later. And it's, pro it's probably bad pra and it's bad practice, but whatever. It's just it's not meant to be perfect, is it? Um, so yeah. So instead, of what I'm going to do then is I'm going to save here. Okay, for character class and character class, I'm going to save here. I'm going to create over here is we're going to say uh, similarly how we did. Uh, this we're going to just say this will be this will be, well first of all we should probably get some location stuff to be honest we, we can set that later actually to be honest dot append we're going to append over here is a brand new uh, player where we have to pass in uh, uh, where we have to pass in a name and a character class so we have to pass in their name so we're just going to say there oh yeah so let's just do over here um, I should, what I should probably do, I should say over here, uh, random or new character name equals random dot choice from character names. What was it? Is it character Is it character names dot? Or is it, or is it delete? Character. I think it's this three character names, and we just pass away the new character name, and then delete it from the list. And then we can append over here the new character name, come up, followed by is of course, actually, what we do actually want. I'm just right. This is looping for the character class, and then what we want to say is okay, then we want we then want to loop for AI. Amount in for x in range. I'm going to say for x in range in for x in range in catch class one. So yeah, that's what we want. For x, so then we say the new character name. Okay, add up. Let's get rid of that, and then we can say over here. Yes, and then what we also want is then. Couch class dot yeah we just want couch class right just want that object boom and we can just, yeah hopefully that should work and then I'm gonna say over here then what I'm gonna do is after you've done that actually I want you, oh I already actually had this didn't I I already I had it returning uh huh no need we will just append to the AI characters. Then what I want you to do is I want you to input over here for a minute. I'm gonna say for AI characters or for character in AI underscore characters. Put me out character. Let's see how this works. If this works or not. Why do I uh, this must be interesting not fast or strings, okay. Um, if the Dell doesn't work, then I guess you can use. You might be able to use. You should probably be able to. I used delete last time, didn't I? That did not work. So it might exist. There should be dot remove. Does that work? Let's see, that should work. The test says doesn't show up anything, which is bloody annoying. I'd love if it showed me something so I can actually view. See that's correct. Um, you're saying okay, this object. Sorry, the list object has no has no attribute start in HP. Why do, why doesn't it? Why doesn't it? How does it not have that? If I just print out the character class, then 
there's a class right there. If I say over here, is it because I need to set zero dot? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, yeah. zero. Right, so we've got a bunch, and they're called play, I know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Woohoo! 19 I've been created. So that so that all works. So that'll be for this video then. Uh, we've got we've got AI characters. I know they're called players. <laughs> However, we do got them working. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be looking at actually putting them in places and potentially adding some interactions to them, uh, which would be nice. Let's get their names, actually. Their names should change all the time, of course. Let's get their names over here. Play. Diego. Money. Let's go here, a couple of names, so you should expect some of these people to be in your game. Well, that's if you, if you play my game. <laughs> Let's also get a character dot class as well. Let's see these in action. Okay. Well, <laughs> I said character class. Yes, I said character class, but I dot. Yeah, dot name. Need to because it's <laughs> because it's an object inside another object. So yeah, or class inside another class. Playing. Boom, boom. Go for an assassin, a knight, a knight, a monk, a mage. I mean, there's only one mage, as you can see. So yeah, so you've got one assassin, two knights, a mage, and we've got here five monks and ten warriors. Boom! It works. So in the next video, as I said, I will be adding some location to these people, random places. Go to your random places. Um, and also, uh, what I might actually add is there will always be a monk in the same place. There will always be a monk at the location of its building, potentially. Might, well, there's always going to be some person in its building, potentially. We might add something like that. However, now we have to re we have to go visit that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Uh, so uh, if you uh, so you know when I upload the next video. Like this video if you did, and hope and I hope to see you guys very soon. Goodbye.